I'm really excited about this video. I get to show you guys my very first time building a fire pit. You guys that have watched me for a while, you guys know that I have never really done any kind of hardscaping. So I'm excited about learning this. The product we're gonna be utilizing today to build this is called Stonemakers. It's a proprietary chemical that you're able to put into the concrete that allows you to stack it and carve it. The reason I think this is really cool is like a day like today where it's raining outside, we're still gonna be able to make some money. We're gonna be able to build one of these fire pits and we're gonna be able to sell this fire pit for anywhere from $700 to $800. Like I said, this is a proprietary chemical so you do have to get trained to use it and also for the ability to purchase it. Luckily, Blake, with It's His Turf, is going to be doing some training, and I'm actually gonna let him talk to you guys a little bit about that training before we get started with this fire pit. All right, guys, so like Kevin said, we're gonna have a training here next month. You're gonna be able to get hands-on, go through training on not only a fire pit, but retaining walls and a waterfall. By signing up and going through this training, it gets you part of the franchise. So you're gonna be buying into the franchise, becoming a dealer with stonemakers. You'll have rights to the proprietary chemicals that we're putting into the concrete every time you see us out here doing this carving with no forms. And also the patch mix that we use in our kitchen panels, our countertops, and our waterfalls. Guys, you literally don't have to have any experience in concrete or hardscapes to come here and go through this training. You just gotta be a little creative and have a passion for what you do. I think this is a great skill that you can add to your arsenal of things that you could offer for your clients. The stonemakers training is gonna be a lot of fun. The owner, Dave Montoya, is gonna be coming down here and going through this training. Me and my team will be there alongside you. And it's just gonna be you know, three to five days full of just getting into a, doing a project, knocking it out. Let's go over here, see what Kevin's about to do and carving this out for his first time. So I'm gonna give Kevin a cheat sheet. I'm gonna mark it out at 48 inches. Kind of a guideline for him to stack the concrete on. Make life a little easier. It's really not as bad as I thought, you know. This stuff is heavy, it's gonna be a little bit of work for you guys, but uh, I got all this stacked up in roughly 10 to 15 minutes, and it's about a half a yard of concrete that I've uh, moved from the pile over here and starting to form this fire pit. So as you can tell, the fire pit is pretty short right now. Unfortunately, Blake used up too much mud in his fire pit. He stole some of mine, so I'm about to go over there and shovel some out of it and bring it over here. At this point, we've got it all stacked up. Now we're gonna start trialing it out, getting it flattened out and ready to go. And then at that point, we'll be ready to start actually carving everything out. My plan is to carve this into stones. So we'll see how that goes. After he gets this thing slicked up, we'll uh, talk about webbing and uh, actually get into the carving and sculpting of the fire pit. I'll give you the good one. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Kevin how to do webbing. What webbing is, is literally like tracing or stenciling out the rocks before you start to carve them. So we'll kind of go through, just draw on the 
fire pit, and then once you go all the way around, you'll start carving them out. More or less, we're just outlining it first. Outlining it, yep. And then we can like cover that. So if you mess up, you can cover it back up. Right, just if you don't like the way it looks, look it right back, back up, up, trace another trace spot. Okay. Yep. So it's almost like dummy proof. It's dummy proof. So like this one here, so now you got two points coming together, you don't start here and go that way again. So what you'll do is you'll literally come right here. over here at Blake's shop for day two of the fire pit build. Uh, you gotta let this concrete get set and ready to go before you color it. So today, Blake's gonna be taking me through the process of getting this stuff colored. The goal here is to use a couple different colors to get some tones and make it look like natural stone. Start coloring this rock. I want some black speckles in the rock. So we're gonna take the brush and we're gonna go ahead and dip it. I'm actually gonna sling some off before I actually get the rock. up a lot of the last of the base colors and then next we'll go over it with a spray that's a natural tone gray all these colors will start popping out that we've done underneath so guys don't forget like Blake was talking about there is going to be a training on this in January if you guys are interested in finding out more about that or maybe even coming here to Arkansas to do that training reach out to Blake or you can reach out to me and I will get you into contact with Blake and we can get you signed up for that training I'm gonna be here for that training I'll be hanging out and I'll be learning this stuff right next to you guys 